So, Dana, what's, what's the emotion been like for you this week? I mean, knowing it's your birthday, knowing, <laughs> knowing how bad it sucked last time. I mean, have you been nervous that things are going to happen? No, I, I felt I felt like this was uh, this was a good week, man, and 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 everything's been good so far. So, uh, yeah, uh, and I'm excited. I'm happy. It's good to get back up here to Calgary. You saw today the fans at the weigh-ins, and this is, uh, all the cities in Canada are always really good to us. So. Um, I definitely wanted to deliver back to these guys. We're sold out tomorrow, and uh, I'm excited. The two guys in the main event, you know, they've been telling us all week they believe it's a number one contender fight, but we just saw Connor get cleared yesterday. So what do, you, what do you say to that? I mean, is Connor the right guy for Habib right now, or are these guys fighting for a number one yeah, contender? Yeah, listen, these two, this fight definitely needed to happen. I think this is the perfect time for it to happen. Uh, the fight everybody wants to see is Connor and Habib. That's, when, the, that's the fight. When do you really think, do you think that can happen? I don't know. That so I don't know. Later, I hope? Sooner than later. <laughs> Will Connor face any repercussions? I mean, you said in the beginning we're gonna let the legal process play out, and then we'll make our decision. Connor has faced a lot of repercussions. Connor's lost a lot of money and uh, a lot of time. Um, and yeah, Co Connor and I are good. We're good. We're here in October in Vegas. Might be possible. Is that soon possible for that fight? That would be awesome. Adi said you were in the red zone for those negotiations um, that they've been having for the last couple of weeks. Um, how, how much talk has there been uh, leading up to what happened this week? Well, yeah, there, 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 there's been a lot of talk leading up to this. Once, especially you know, once we knew how this thing was going to play out for him in New York. Um, yeah, I, 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 I agree with what he said. We're, we're, all, we're all in a good place. Big fight in your co-main event as well, but we're kind of curious what that means. You know, do we have any update on Max Holloway? Like what his status is, how he's doing? Yeah, he, he, he's he's good. He's doing well. And, uh, you know, they gave him a, a, a time frame. I'd actually like to wait a little longer on his time frame and, and, and make sure that he's 100%. Do we know what that time frame is? I don't know yet. And do we know, was it a concussion? We know it was a concussion like seven. Was it a concussion or was it something? Because we're hearing all these rumors of potential stroke and... and no, no stroke. There was no stroke. Uh, it, it, it either had to do with um, concussion, it's either e either a concussion or th they believe that it happened to him a lot easier because he was cutting weight at that time, you know. And uh, but we still don't know for sure. But we know he's okay, he's healthy, and uh, he's going to get better. Because Aldo was saying that he has two more fights in his contract, and, and he wants to retire after that. Aldo? Yes. I, I don't know exactly where he is on his contract right now. But that could be true. What do you think of this fight with uh, him and Stephens? What do I, I love this fight. I think it's a great fight. You know, it's crazy. I was just saying earlier today, and we were just talking out on the Fox desk, Josie Aldo's been around forever. Forever this guy's been around. He's only 31 years old. It's so crazy. Uh, you know, he, he's still a young guy, and, and, and uh, this is a big fight for him tomorrow night. What's the deal with Cyborg and Amanda Nunes, though? Like, Amanda said that she signed the fight for December. Cyborg was saying that she wanted to fight before. Can you update That's us? the fight to make. Is in September? That's the fight to make. I don't know when December. we'll get it done, but that's the fight to make. That's the fight I want. I know that's the fight the fans want, and it's the fight we need to get done. So if Cyborg wants to fight before she's not fighting, she's fighting only in December? I don't. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. This is Jose's first three-round fight in nearly 10 years, his first non-title fight in nearly right. 10 years, his first TV Crazy. fight on UFC. Uh, it's so weird that he's never really mentioned um, as like a top five all-time guy. People talk about Anderson, John Jones, GSP, Cormier. Why do you think that is? Very good point. That's a very good point. I actually never even thought of that until you said it. Um, yeah, he, he will, though. Once, he's, once he goes away and everything else, he'll go down as one of the all-time greats. Going back to Holloway, you said the time frame, but you didn't say what the time frame is. When would you like to see Max fight again? How, how long are we talking about? Well, what I want to do is have him uh, take some time off. What it's, here's the problem. No matter how far away you, you, know, you book a fight, I'm worried about him starting to spar and starting to, you know, and I don't want him to do any of that stuff until, uh, until, it, until it's absolutely necessary. So I want to give him more time. There is no time frame. I just want this kid to be healthy. Do so you think maybe an interim title fight with Ortega in the winner of this one, maybe, or something? Long? Or is it going to be that long? No. I, I, I'll, I'll, we, we would wait for him. So, uh, What's going on with that? Colby Covington, Darren Till versus Woodley booked. Covington just got this interim belt uh, just yeah, about so, a month ago. So the way that the interim belt works is you fight for the interim belt, which means you get the next shot at the champion. You're the interim title holder. You get a shot at the champ when he's ready because the champ is out for whatever reason for however long. And uh, Woodley was back. Woodley was ready to fight, and Colby wasn't ready to fight. So we're not going to hold up you know, the, the, the thing with two belts 
for the champion. When the champion's ready, you need to be ready to go. So as soon as one punch is thrown in this fight, it's for the title. Do you feel for him at all? Mm -hmm. Do you feel for Colby at all? About the situation? Yeah, I, I mean, yes and no. I mean, he, he, he won the title, and, uh, you know, he, he's still the guy. When he's ready, he'll get the next fight. We saw Tony Ferguson this week on social media doing his best Spider-Man impression, doing flips and all kinds of crazy stuff already. <laughs> when do you think we're going to see this guy back? Is, is he on track to fight this year? Yeah, I would love to put him on the same card as Khabib and, and, uh, and uh, Connor. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. We are starting to film uh, the Contender Brazil soon. Uh, I just want to know like, your expectations for the, the series. Yeah, I'm excited. You, you ask me, Mick or Sean, we love Tuesdays, man. We, we love going to these fights. They're so fun. They're incredible. I could do that every Tuesday for the rest of my life. So I'm excited for the, for the, for the Brazilian Contender, too. Do you think we can have like, more uh, stars coming up on the show? Is what? More stars, more MMA stars coming out of the show. Do you think oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. We'll definitely find some some new up and coming talent and and guys that we can build off off that show. Yeah, I, just like the Ultimate Fighter, I could see the contender going everywhere. The contender Mexico, the contender Canada, the contender. We could do that thing everywhere. If just Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. <laughs> I have to keep saying. We have to stop calling it the Contender Series. Well, in Brazil, I don't think they will do a good. Yeah. You're gonna get me sued. <laughs> Dana, whenever I was scrambling to figure out welterweight and to get a title fight in Dallas and all that stuff, people started talking more about 165 and 175. Are you considering that anymore? Because it would just give you another. Division. I was never considering. I know you were, but I mean, have yeah. you thought about it at all? Because I mean, that's another. That's another, that would give you another weight class, another opportunity to put more belts on the line for your pay-per-views and that sort no. of thing. I haven't even thought about it. Well, why do you remain opposed to that when a lot of people say, because you know, there's so many fighters in those two divisions that I don't think it would thin it out. Yeah, I think it would. Yeah, I, mean, I think I think it hurts the division. You have a lot of guys jumping to go to different. I, I don't like it. So Anderson Silva just got like his situation with his uh, salt. When can you expect him to come back? Um. Yeah, I think I think he's ready to go here. Uh, you know, we, we haven't made a fight for him yet, but we're talking about Did some you talk options. To him since the... We're ta haven't talked to him, but we're talking about some options for him. And uh, if Jose Aldo decides to retire. In three fights, do you think he still has a chance to fight for the belt once more before he retires? Depends on what happens tomorrow night. People find things to be critical about. I have never heard a single critical thing said about the Contender Series. People just seem to love it. Yeah. Is it one of the best things that you think the UFC has put together? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely one of the best. But so was, look at what the Ultimate Fighter did for not only the UFC, but for the sport. Um, yeah, and the Contender is right up there, yeah. Listen, if you don't like the Contender, Stop fooling yourself, you're not a fight fan. It's, it's incredible. First of all, there's no fluff, there's no bullshit, there's no commercials. It's fight to fight to fight. There's no, uh, there's no ring card girls, there's no in between. It's just, these guys come in and they fight. And the fights are unbelievable. It's in a small little setting with their family and their friends there. It, it's, it's awesome. Will that format not stay the same on ESPN next year? Will there be commercials added? It will stay the same format, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the way to roll. I love it. Any updates on John Jones and Yozada situation? Uh, John Jones? You know, John Jones, we, I told you, we, he already asked me that question. Oh, sorry. No, that's right. I was like, we are not Because yeah, it's been a year, I guess, almost since. Yeah. Then. So, we'll, we'll, you think we'll get clarity very, very soon? Yeah, I hope so. Just one last question. Uh, Victor Belfort posted a picture with you in a meeting in Las Vegas. Can you talk about it? Like, what was discussed? Yeah, uh, <laughs> you, you know, he, uh, he fought his last fight and he came out and wanted to say thank you for everything and uh, and wanted to stay in touch and yeah all good stuff all positive yeah cool thanks for the